What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to break down the snowstorm that could blast parts of the southern plains all the way to the northeast with a round of heavy snow. Before we get started, I need to get something off my chest. All weekend long, I saw titles on YouTube saying, this storm is stronger than expected, or this storm just keeps getting stronger. That's just not true. This storm was always going to be a high impact storm for a lot of people across the United States, but to say that it is getting stronger than expected... It's just not true, and they're just trying to get clicks. Thank you for letting me rant a little bit. Now let's get to it. This is the system developing in parts of the desert southwest. We now have heavy snow in and around Albuquerque, especially southeast of Albuquerque, closer to the Texas border in New Mexico. This is now looking at 10 o'clock central time, 9 o'clock mountain time, as our system starts to materialize. Again, late Monday night into early Tuesday morning. We are going to fast forward into Tuesday morning. This is now going to be 4 and 5 o'clock mountain time and central time, respectively. And you see the heavy snow really starting to explode through parts of the panhandle of Texas and then even into parts of southwest Oklahoma. We're going to take you hour by hour here over the next 48 hours. Now, this is going to continue to be lifting off to the north and east gradually as we move through your Tuesday afternoon. So now we're looking at about 2 o'clock central time. We still have very heavy snow northwest of Dallas into Oklahoma City now. Very heavy rain, even the chance for some stronger thunderstorms closing in on Houston. Again, this is going to be at about 2 o'clock central time. Forward in time even further, you see this storm just it completely expand now, starting to spread out in aerial coverage. So now places like Arkansas, we are getting in on some of the heavy snow. A little bit of mix, too, in the pink. This is now stopping it at 1 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. Very heavy snow now. Places like St. Louis, southern Illinois, getting into Joplin, south of Kansas City, Missouri, getting into extreme southeast Kansas, and then northeast Oklahoma as well. Very heavy rain on the warm side of this through central Tennessee, eastern Tennessee, and then right on through the deep south. Now, in terms of how much snow is going to be falling, we're going to start with the southern plains and deep south. There are a lot of crazy numbers out there as well. They're just showing some raw model output that doesn't necessarily take into account all of the snow making processes. If you live in the south, you know that it's kind of really, really hard to get those good, efficient, accumulating crystals. So we're looking at the snow depth model here through Wednesday or through Wednesday morning. This is early Wednesday morning now. And you see these numbers are a little bit less than what's kind of being regurgitated out on social media. So I wanted to be clear about that as well. There's still gonna be a very nice snowstorm. If you like snow in parts of Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma. Again, this is going to be a high impact storm, but I think the totals are going to be a little bit less than what you're seeing out there on some of the model runs that are being shared on social media. Anyway, rant number two, I guess. Here we go. This big footprint here where you see the blues. This is going to be about three to six inches of snow from just about southwest of Oklahoma City into Amarillo and Lubbock, Texas. Those totals may even be a little bit lower than that. You see another little bullseye here, another little footprint of some heavy snow, even some purples showing up. This is going to be through northwest Arkansas. I think we could get a little more. That, six, eight, that's, that purple color represents where we could see six inches or more of snow. Certainly a possibility, but I would temper expectations a little bit. Again, it's really hard to get those good, efficient, snow crystals that growing those crystals anyway so again just keep that in mind the purple there representing though where we have a good shot to get six inches of snow all in all i think a good snowstorm here if you love snow high impact snowstorm it's going to crush travel as we move into parts of north texas oklahoma into arkansas no doubt about that but i think the totals are just going to be a little bit less than what is being shared out there on social media. All right, so we're going to move into Wednesday now, and our system, send that back to Wednesday. This is going to be at about 1 o'clock Eastern, noon Central. Here is our area of low pressure. We have snow spreading into Pennsylvania. I think Philadelphia, we could start to see a little bit of snow. We're not talking about crazy totals here, though. I think a slushy inch max for us in Philly. But watch what happens as we go forward in time 
that quickly changes to rain right along the I-95 corridor. So again, we miss out along the I-95 corridor for a good snowstorm. It's all going to be interior New England. This is now 1 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Look at all where the heavy snow is. Mainly interior, and then coastal Maine gets in on a little bit of that snow. And then it kind of lifts back out for the next little clipper system to kind of push on through there as we move into the, towards the end of the week. Again, in terms of snow totals, this is going to include the storm that's already exiting on Monday. These are going to be that 10 to 1 ratio, which again, in a situation like this in the south, it's hard to do that. It's typically less than 10 to 1 because the snow growing processes are not as efficient as what they would be in the colder air where those efficient snowflakes, those big dendrites, the nice picturesque snowflakes are growing. But nonetheless, these are going to be the ensembles now and doing a better job, I think, than the operational showing there that a nice three to six inches of snow through parts of the southern plains, Arkansas, like Fayetteville, northwest Arkansas, uh, could get a little bit more than six inches of snow. And then you see this footprint moving up into the northeast. And again, you might see some crazy numbers there. That's going to be including the snowstorm that is exiting the Northeast from the last day or so, and storm number two here pushing out of uh, the Northeast. But again, the clear loser in all of this, if you are a fan of snow in the big cities like Boston, I think we're going to get a little bit in Boston, but New York City missing out. Philadelphia might be able to get a slushy inch. D.C. certainly not, but we are going to be missing out on those bigger snow totals again this time around thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for letting me rant again just be careful with what you see i love that the message is getting out that there is a high impact snowstorm coming but it's got to be done the right way there's a lot of misleading stuff when it comes to this storm it's not getting stronger this was always going to be a high impact storm so again just please be careful if you're driving around the southern plains again starting really late tonight and through tuesday Please be safe and enjoy the snow.